Hey guys, Mike here with Real Texas Outdoors. I just finished putting together this large figure eight or large guide secrets, different names, same trap, uh, trap. And I wanted to show it to you. I was looking at our website and I realized that we had some outdated video and outdated pictures of this. So I kind of wanted to spend a few minutes and update it. Uh, but this is our large guide secret or our large figure eight trap. And we call it a figure eight because of the shape. And we call it the guide secret because it was given to me by the design was given to me by a guy. He was about 94 years old. He has since passed away, but he literally got down on the floor and showed me how to build this. And uh, as the story goes, he left, and about five minutes later, he drove back up, just stuck his head in the door, and he's like, oh yeah, one more thing. And I was like, what's that? He said, if you don't catch anything in it, you didn't do it right. And so, to this day, this is a great trap, great story. That guy was a super cool older guy. Um, but it, this secret or this figure eight design did come from uh, you know from him and I've kind of added some stuff to it I'm gonna talk about it in a minute, but as with all of our traps It's made right here in Texas in the land of I'm pouring sweat the land of heat and sweet tea And so these traps are all assembled right here in this shop and uh, we ship them out to you guys from here And so uh, what I wanted to do was really just to go over a few I kind of highlight some things about this trap talk about who this trap is for and what it's used for uh, and then I'm going to bring the camera in in a few minutes and show you guys some of the some of the close-up stuff of the traps so you can actually see it. So, first things first, this is again this is our figure eight, our large figure eight, our large guide secret. And the reason we call it the large is because it's 18 inches tall. Uh, our regular figure eight is only about a about a foot tall, and this is a good you know 18 inches, so it's much taller. And it's two foot by two foot going this way and this way. So two foot by two foot, 18 inch height. Uh, very large trap. It's actually the largest trap that we build and ship out. Um, we actually we build cages and stuff that are bigger than this, but we ship those flat to save on money. This is the largest trap that we assemble here in the in the shop and send it out to you guys. Uh, and so any bigger than this, then it gets just ridiculous on shipping. And so we try to keep the shipping cost you know as best we can. Um, but they're just big traps, and they and they cost money to ship, and they go in big boxes. So really not too much we can do about that. But with this trap, it's a uh, couple of things I've done here because of the height you know in our, in our figure eight um, I'm sorry in our guide secret figure eight trap we always have four entry points two on each side now if you go and look at our other pictures or other web um, traps like the four-leaf clover you know it has it's, it's a square and it has one entry point for the trap on every side of the trap uh, and now this is a little bit different it only has two sides that the fish can come in this side and on the bottom here but it also has four entry points for them to come in. And because of the height of the trap, what I did was I actually went in and I created some ramps to kind of guide the fish into the trap more easily. Because of the height of it, I didn't want them just to be kind of trying to figure out how to get in and not be able to. I actually created these ramps. I'll bring the camera in again so you can look at it. And these ramps guide those fish down into the trap and into the hole very easily. And where every entry point has a ramp to do that. And so it makes it really easy for the fish to get in. Uh, very simple uh, for them to get caught. Next thing here is if you look at the top of the trap, I've added what we call an exit blocker. Um, I really didn't have an issue with this in the, in the first place of fish really getting out of the trap because of the hole. They have a ton of area they can swim around. Um, but just to kind of be safe or to add some additional protection in it, um, I added this exit blocker right in between the door. So as the fish comes in and they start swimming around, they would have to get super lucky to be able to get out of this trap. Now, Fish will escape from any trap. There's no perfect fish trap, but if, you know if you pick it up and you just look at the fish in it and lay it back in the water, they're going to try to figure out how to get out of it. But if you just pick it up and collect them, you're not losing fish, obviously. So this is just an additional kind of a, a security measure to keep more fish, kind of make you know the, your time a little more what is it where I want time more valuable. I don't know, just to make sure you catch more fish while the traps in the water. Um, so that's the big thing. And the other thing I added here is a gigantic exit door where you can actually let your fish out. <clears throat> Nothing bothers me more when you get a fish trap that has a little bitty door that you can't pour your fish out fast, they get caught in the corners, and so on. And so I've created, or we cut out a big hole here, and if something gets caught in your trap, let's say you got some bread or something in there that you're baiting with and it's hung up in there, or some vegetation gets hung up, you can easily reach your hand in there and kind of move your stuff around and get what you need uh, so you can you know, easily access the inside of the trap. And if you want to make modifications to the trap or add spray foam inside the trap, um, you can easily do that as well through here because that's a big door for you to use. And so that's kind of an overview. I'm going to bring the camera in. I want you guys to see a little bit more about the trap up in person. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so here's a little closer look at those ramps I was telling you about. If you look here on the side, you can kind of make it out as it runs up the edge here. You can see, follow my finger, it runs up the edge at an angle. 
Um, and then what that's going to do is really just take when the when the fish come around the corner, it's going to funnel them up directly into one of the holes here. So there's a there's a hole right here, a three inch by one inch hole here, and there's another one up here at the top, three inch by one inch. It's really hard to see, I know, with the background. Um, but there's two on each side, and those funnels or those ramps are going to put them right in there. Now, as far as the mesh goes. This is 19 gauge mesh, and so it's regular kind of generic hardware cloth. It is half inch by half inch, and we use galvanized clips here. So it's not gonna rust, the, all of it, the whole thing is galvanized. It's gonna last you a very long time. If you're not using it though, I would highly recommend with any trap, take it out of the water and take it out of the mud. Don't let it sit in mud. Mud is probably one of the worst things on a trap. If you're not using them and you just leave them in the mud for a long time, you're definitely gonna wear out the trap way earlier than you would. So if you're not using it, just take it out of the water and, and don't do anything with it. Um, just kind of leave it you know, on the side here. Actually, let me show you as we walk over here. I have an old one. I probably built this five, six years ago just sitting here and it's still good. You can throw it in the water right now and catch fish with it. So this one's a much, much older trap version of that clover leaf. And you can see I have some spray foam and stuff kind of floating around in there, but that thing is still good. I mean, I would not hesitate to take that out and use it right now. And you know, it's been used a lot and still as good as it was on day one. May not be as pretty, it's kind of dirty, but it didn't rust, it didn't fall apart. And so again, when you're not using them, don't leave them in the water, don't leave them in the mud. They'll last you for years and years. All right, so the other thing with this trap, and I apologize for the walking. The other thing with this trap that I showed you a minute ago was the big door. You can see we use a very large door for you to get your fish out and use some marine grade bungee here on the door. So it's, this bungee isn't gonna dry rot on you after the first use. This is good stuff, ordered offline. It's gonna last you a long time. And uh, the exit blocker there, you can see it in the middle. It's about an inch from each of the sides or maybe an inch and a half, can't remember exactly, but it will block those fish from exiting the trap. They can't just swim their way back out very easily. All right, so who is this trap for? I would say this trap is not for the average person just wanting to go run a few jug lines or a few trot lines. This is for somebody, maybe honestly like a guide or somebody who is like a pro catfishing guide or something that they're constantly taking people out and need a ton of live bait. You're gonna catch a lot of live bait in this. If you're running probably, I would say more than like five trot lines, then maybe this would be for you. But if you're running a trot line or two, you don't need this big of a trap to do it. You can do it, it'd be great, but you're gonna have a lot of extra bait you don't need. Uh, and so this would be for somebody, again, who is fishing a lot, somebody who is you know, running lines regularly, who's needing tons and tons of bait. One or two of these things and you're gonna be set. This is gonna catch you tons and tons of uh, uh, bait fish, whatever kind you're using, you know, if you wanna catch brim, sunfish, things like that, that's, this is perfect for that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for saltwater application just because of the, the metal here. Now you could use it in salt water, but when you take it out of the water, you're going to have to spray it down and, and make sure that you get all the salt off of it or it will corrode this mesh. Even though it's galvanized mesh, that salt will help break it down in a hurry. So um, really it's, it's freshwater application, someone who's looking for a lot, a lot of bait. Uh, these traps are currently at 65 bucks uh, on our website. Uh, we do occasionally run sales on it so you can keep an idea or keep an eye out for that. Um, and so really that's that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to say about it. This, you know, I, it doesn't look like much, but it is almost like a little bit of a work of art to get everything formed and shaped. This is not a trap that you would ever just drive up to a feed store and see out front. Uh, this is professionally made here in Texas. Um, you're not just gonna find one of these. It takes a while to think about how to curve everything and bend everything and cut everything. Um, and, and I would I would bet, you know, I would say that, you know, out of this type of mesh, this is 19 gauge mesh, it's regular hardware cloth, it's half inch by half inch. We use those galvanized clips on it so it's not gonna rust on you. Um, but I would say out of this type of mesh that you would have a very difficult time finding a more effective or better trap than this. Um, this is about as cool as it comes. Um, and so if, if this is for you, if you're trying to catch a ton of bait, you're running a ton of lines, I would highly recommend you try this one out uh, over our four leaf clover. And uh, this is a great trap and you won't be disappointed. Again, uh, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless.